Have you ever wondered why your gas pump automatically shuts off when your tank is full? It feels almost like magic, but there's actually some really clever engineering at work behind the scenes. Gas stations use a smart yet simple system to prevent fuel from overfilling. And today, we're going to break it all down on how do gas stations prevent cars from overfilling the tank? So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you'll never look at a gas pump the same way again. Right here on History of Simple Things. Before we dive into how gas stations prevent overfilling, let's talk about why it's even an issue. When you're filling up your car, it might seem like you should be able to just keep pumping indefinitely. But if fuel were to overflow, it could spill onto the ground, creating a fire hazard. Plus, excess gasoline can end up inside the vapor recovery system of your vehicle, potentially damaging components that help control emissions. And let's not forget, it's a waste of money to pay for gas that doesn't even fit in your tank. So, how does the gas pump know exactly when to stop? It all comes down to a small but brilliant device inside the nozzle called the Venturi tube. This little component is what makes the automatic shutoff possible, and it operates using a mix of airflow, pressure changes, and simple physics. Here's how it works. As you squeeze the pump handle, gasoline flows from the nozzle into your tank. At the same time, there's a small hole near the tip of the nozzle, which is connected to a thin pipe running back into the handle. While fuel is flowing freely, air gets pulled through this hole, keeping the system balanced. But as soon as gasoline starts reaching the top of your tank, it blocks the hole, stopping the airflow. That sudden drop in air pressure activates a mechanical trigger inside the nozzle, instantly shutting off the flow of fuel. Pretty clever, right? Now you might be wondering, who came up with this brilliant idea? The automatic shutoff nozzle was invented by a man named Richard C. Corson in the 1930s. Back then, gas stations were becoming more common but safety regulations weren't as strict. Overflowing fuel was a frequent issue, leading to messy spills and serious fire risks. Corson's invention changed everything by making refueling safer and more efficient. His design has stood the test of time, and while there have been minor improvements, the core concept remains the same today. The Venturi tube isn't the only safety feature built into gas pumps. Modern fueling systems include multiple layers of protection to prevent accidents and ensure fuel is handled safely. One major feature is the vapor recovery system. When you pump gas, fuel vapors can escape into the air, contributing to air pollution. To combat this, Many nozzles had built-in vapor recovery mechanisms that capture and recycle these vapors, reducing harmful emissions. Another safety measure is the breakaway hose. If a driver forgets to remove the nozzle before pulling away, yes, it happens more often than you'd think. The hose is designed to disconnect cleanly, preventing gas from spilling everywhere and reducing fire hazards. Finally, most modern pumps also include emergency shutoff buttons. If something goes wrong, like a leak or a fire, station attendants can quickly stop all fuel flow with the press of a button. Since we're on the topic of gas pumps, let's bust a few myths that many people still believe. First, some drivers think that topping off their tank after the pump shuts off helps them get a little extra mileage. In reality, most modern cars have evaporative emission control systems that can actually be damaged by overfilling. When you force extra fuel into your tank, it can seep into the charcoal canister that helps manage fuel vapors, leading to costly repairs. 
Another common myth is that using your phone while pumping gas can cause an explosion. While it's always good to follow safety guidelines, there's actually no documented case of a phone igniting fuel vapors at a gas station. However, static electricity from getting in and out of your car could be a bigger concern. So always touch something metal before fueling up to discharge any static buildup. Here are a few fun facts about gas stations that you might not know. The first ever drive-in gas station opened in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1913. Before that, fuel was sold in cans at general stores. The busiest gas station in the world is said to be in South Korea, fueling thousands of cars every single day. Some modern gas stations are experimenting with robotic fueling systems, where a robotic arm handles the entire process, no human interaction required. In Japan, some gas stations have hanging hoses that come down from the ceiling, making it easier to fill up no matter which side of the car your fuel tank is on. With the rise of electric vehicles, you might be wondering if traditional gas stations will become obsolete. While EVs are certainly changing the game, gasoline-powered cars aren't disappearing overnight. In fact, gas stations are already adapting by installing fast-charging stations for electric vehicles alongside traditional fuel pumps. In the coming years, we'll likely see more hybrid refueling stations that cater to both gasoline and electric cars. So, the next time you're at the pump and hear that satisfying click as your tank reaches full, you'll know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. From the ingenious Venturi tube to advanced safety systems, gas stations have come a long way to make refueling as safe, efficient, and environmentally friendly as possible. It's one of those everyday miracles of engineering that most people never even think about. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.